As we go through these uncertain times, I want to assure us that the grace of God is greater than our sins. God's grace is sufficient. His grace is endless. It is matchless. His grace continues to give and gives again. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless you for being with us again in this time of devotion. We pray a blessing upon you today and forever as we take time to devote to God, not only in these few minutes, but I pray we will do it for the rest of the day. His grace is strong. When we make decisions against God, God's grace remains strong. It's strong enough to bring us back to salvation when we repent. We can trust the grace of God in times like these. We can ask the Son in Luke chapter 15, verse 11 through 32. And that represents us. When we make decisions against what God wants, His grace remains strong. And when we catch ourselves, His grace is still sufficient to bring us back to a place in the presence of God. And in the case of this young man, mercy kept him until he came to his senses. I'm going to read a few verses for our meditation this morning. That will be Luke 15, verse 17, and also verse 20. Then he came to his senses and said, How many of my father's hired men have more food than they can eat? And here I am, starving to death. Verse 15 says, So he got up and went to his father, and while he was still far away, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him affectionately. Grace is waiting for us. If you're away from God because of your sins, grace welcome you back today as you repent. And if you feel like you're down and out and cannot make it, grace is sufficient. It is strong. It is matchless. It is endless. It gives and gives again. You can make it. We can make it by the grace of God. Father, thank you for the strength of your grace. No force, no power, nothing on this earth is greater than your grace. And I pray today for those who lead the nations. I pray today for those who lead in the medical professions and leaders all around our nation. I pray for the body of Christ in particular, that we will indeed stand on your grace. And we will honor you today as we live in this life full of troubles and strife. We know that your grace is sufficient. We thank you for healing, for help, for hope. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and families everywhere. We give you thanks today because of your grace we are here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you as you depend on the grace of God today. He is able, well able. Have a great day in the Lord.